Matthew Whelan is a 35-year-old tattoo enthusiast from Birmingham. Having spent upwards of £40,000, his love of tattoos has become an all-encompassing obsession. He has even changed his name. My legal name is King of England, King Body Art, the Extreme Inkite. Body Art for short, it rings more than a David, a Paul, a Jonathan. I'm covered in body art, so why not look like a body art by being body art? Hello, body art. A guy covered in body art, his name's body art. I've got my face tattooed. I've got various animals on me. I've got a giant snake on top of my head, some barbed wire on me. My eyeballs are stained. The white of my eye, the sclera, is stained. It's also known as an eyeball tattoo, the left and right. I've got pirates on me, aliens tattooed on me. I've got a blue penis. My penis is blue. You tattooed your penis blue? Yeah, my penis is totally blue. Body Art has big ambitions to set up his own business. But like many people who have radically altered their appearance, he feels that body modifiers suffer prejudice in the workplace. I personally find it really, really difficult to get my head around it because there are companies out there that employ people on merit. There are modified friendly companies, but the majority are, yet again, look at these people. You look different from everyone in our Everyone in our office, everyone in our staff, you're different. You don't fit our criteria. We're not employing you. That's frustrating. Now, though, Body Art wants to be his own boss. I think my ultimate aim is to start a small business, develop it, and then possibly go on an international level. Body Art is keeping the exact details of his venture a closely guarded secret but he's worried that the business world isn't ready to take him seriously. Dealing with people, that's going to be a challenge. Is that right? No, it's not. It's a blatant form of discrimination. People might not sympathise with someone that's tattooed their entire face that then finds it difficult to find work. I'm not after uh, sympathy of any kind, and most modified people aren't. We'd just like to be given a chance. He may feel the business venture will be a struggle, but body art is no stranger to adversity. Six months ago, in order to create a smoother canvas for his artwork, he cut off his own nipples. Righty is blue and purple, and lefty is magenta. They're my nipples, and they're frozen. And now I keep them in my freezer next to my sprouts. It might be strange to a lot of people, but I'm keeping them temporarily preserved in the freezer until I get the right chemicals to pickle, pickle my nipples. You're going to pickle your nipples? I'm going to pickle my nipples, but they're temporarily being preserved in my freezer at the moment. How, how does one pickle their nipples? You obtain... I don't fucking know. 